All right, this is Duracell versus Energizer. Energizer. You can battery. see here. So you, so you know, you kind of see there. Can't really focus, really focused, but that is an Energizer nine volt battery. Taken apart to tell the difference between the two. You can see the nine volt Duracell battery which we've taken apart here the cells are were wrapped up in this little plastic here this little blue plastic that I cut away um, dissecting it back down here you have a little little brown plate and a little piece of cardboard that kinda covers up the back end of the batteries and you look at the Duracell batteries or the yeah the Duracell they're all soldered together real nice one solid or one, one piece all joined together let's see how good we can focus here you can see all the connections are solid and are soldered all six cells bundled together okay and our energizer battery can't really handle it like the Duracell battery but you can see that the cells the 1.5 volt cells are all just kind of loose in there here's the top portion that just presses up against the top of the battery back here and then this back plate right here is, serves the same function on the energizer as the Duracell welded metal tabs or not welded soldered metal tabs so this battery is what I would call a poorly constructed battery especially by the way this is for pertaining to rockets you can see we've got some rocket paraphernalia crazy <laughs> rocket scientists and the rocket laying around so during a rocket launch if you're using a Duracell battery which would go mounted in this electronics bay here kinda like so you could imagine just uh, well, got kind of, getting kinda of channeled up there a 9 volt battery we've been drinking you can see the bottle a 9 volt battery placed right there when this rocket accelerates, there's a excessive amount of G-force placed onto the battery. So if you're using a battery where the inside components are not soldered together, if they separate, which can happen under, you know, 40, 50 Gs, or who knows how much, separates just slightly for a split second, the altimeter bay electronics will reset themselves and... Uh, you'll have a, a system malfunction. If you don't have a backup, your rocket will crash back into the ground. Lawn dart, Lawn dart style. So with a Duracell battery under excessive G loads in any orientation, but especially oriented up where the, uh, where the battery is um, uh, collinear co with the rocket, the g-forces can cause the cells to come apart from this top part just for just a split second and that's enough to reset your altimeter bay mid-flight so you can see how that could happen here so this here illustrates the difference between a Duracell 9 volt battery over here and an Energizer 9 volt battery as you can see so you decide energizer or duracell i think i'm a duracell guy from now on